good afternoon one and all my name is shraddha rao and uh, today i am going to explain my topic that is endospore and sporulation hello everyone myself spore today i am going to tell you something about me so let's take a look to understand sporulation we first have to uh, take a look on endosperm what is endosperm an endosperm is dormant tough non reproductive structure produced by bacteria in unfavorable condition dormant means in active stage and unfavorable condition means uh, when the bacteria do not get proper nutrition proper food for their growth etc uh this diagram in this diagram i am uh, sharing that uh there are various parts of endospore and have particular functions coat is made up of protein keratin function it protects the spore against chemicals then cortex it is made up of peptidoglycan layer its function is it gives resistance to spore from high temperature then core it consists of rna dna proteins and dipicolinic acid then function it protects uh, dna from heat and radiation germ cell wall it is made up of peptidoglycan layer it becomes the cell wall after spore germination then inner membrane it is lipid bilayer and it acts as a barrier against damaging chemicals then outer membrane it is made up of lipid and its function is it protects the spore then these are the types of endospore there are five different types of endospore you can see in this picture uh, different different position also first one non bulging elliptical central spore elliptical means uh, somewhat elongated circle means stretched to an oval shape then non bulging elliptical terminal spore that is second one third one bulging elliptical and terminal spore then bulging elliptical central spore and fifth one it's different from these four it have a spherical shape endospores are formed when bacteria feels stress off means uh, when bacteria um face the stressful condition it gets converted into endospore to protect themselves so which are the types of stresses lack of nutrients oxygen uv radiation desiccation high temperature chemical change enzymatic destruction and antibiotic treatment here in antibiotic treatment some bacteria are resist to antibiotic like mycobacterium resistant to multi drug and in this picture i have tried to explain you that how bacteria reacts when uh, there is stressful condition condition on them this orange colored bacteria is going away from the stress then sporulation what is sporulation process of formation of spores from vegetative cell during unfavorable condition is sporulation as i told before these are the various stages vegetative uh, stage then stage 2 in which septum is formed we have discussed it in the next slide this stressful condition leads me to the topic of sporulation so uh, what is vegetative stage when the bacteria is minding its own business metabolizing and dividing and if it experience stress it forms the spore uh, now the most important is that endospore enables bacteria to lie dormant for thousand of years this is a very long lasting period and when there are favorable conditions means uh, when the bacteria get proper nutrition for their growth that 
spore get reactivated and germinates to vegetative cell this is a total about the sporulation cycle first you can see that vegetative cell vegetative cell decides means when there is unfavorable condition for bacteria and when bacteria feel stress at that time vegetative cell decides um, to form the spore after deciding then when the spore formation gets started first dna starts to replicate and become double to enter the spore then the septum formation get occurs in the mother cell uh, from outside then four spore is formed four spore have only one membrane then the fourth diagram you can see here uh, when engulfment this is the small spore when engulfment by mother cell then the cell membrane of mother cell also get attached to the outer uh, outer layer of spore so now spore form is of two membranes between these two membranes there is a formation of cortex and when the cortex uh, is formed mother cells dna gets degenerated at that time during the formation of cortex after this uh, dehydration uh, you know why dehydration is necessary means if we uh, dehydrate the spore then it increases the dormancy period of spore so uh, then next one here you can see coat formation protein coat is formed and after the formation of protein coat the membrane of mother cell breaks down and spore get released out of it this is the spore and the two most important thing we have to understand in sporulation cycle is that uh, vegetative cell forms spore when there is unfavorable condition and spore forms vegetative cells when there is favorable condition means when bacteria get proper nutrition uh, survival growth factors which are required by them uh, when they get they germinate into vegetative cell uh, these are the examples of bacteria that produces endospores mostly gram positive bacteria has form endospores so we can see first one bacillus and second clostridium these are gram positive bacteria you can see purple colored bacteria um, is bacillus species and the next one is clostridium species then sporosarcina and thermoactinomyces also so that's the end of my presentation i hope you understand thank you very much